I'm here with Dana Rittenhauer in her beautiful home in Merrill's Inlet, where she is a budding uh, literary star right here in our community. And um, she's going to tell us uh, about a big award that she's up for. Hi, John. Uh, thank you for visiting me in my home this morning. Uh, I'm actually up for the Ben Franklin Award. It's an IBPA award. It's out of Portland, Oregon. That's when the uh, award ceremony is going to be for on April 7th this year. So I'm actually going to travel out to the West Coast, well, the Pacific Northwest, and be at the ceremonies. Fingers crossed. There are about 1,400 people who um, entered the contest, and behind the mask, which, look, <laughs> behind the mask is one of the three finalists for best new voice in fiction. So I'm, I'm thrilled and I just, I can't wait. I'm going to, I'm, I'm actually doing two awards ceremonies uh, within a week of one another. One is up in Bellingham, Washington, and that is the Chanticleer International Book Awards. So I'm going to go there the first weekend and then the next weekend I'm traveling down to Portland to uh, attend the IBPA Benjamin Franklin Awards. So I'm thrilled with the attention that Behind the Mask has received. And I just, uh, I'm just over the moon with these finalists, or the book making finalists in these two big awards. As one of the three finalists, I understand you'll be getting a, a at least a silver, if not a gold medallion to put to place on the book, yes. showing that it's a national award winner, which I assume every bookstore in the country is going to want it. Well, I certainly hope so. <laughs> That's the goal, is to get the book in the hands of people and get people reading the book. And the book is... Fairly autobiographical, I understand. Book is fiction, but it is based on a lot of the experiences that I had. I was an FBI agent for 20 years, and during that 20 years, about 10 of them I spent undercover. So the book is based on my undercover experiences. So um, a lot of the, the names have been changed and the places, some of the places, but it is based on some of my experiences that I had, especially the emotional experiences that the character goes through, the loneliness. Um, I wanted to write a book. It wasn't just an FBI book. I wanted to write a book that truly showed the psychological toll that undercover work took on an agent. Yeah, that should be fascinating to read. Oh, thank you. Uh, what is your work style like? Well, I try to write every day. If I skip too many days, then it's a process I have to go back through and reread and reread and reread, and it takes a lot of time. So I like to write every day. So. I basically write probably six days a week. There's usually one day where I'll just take off to play, but um, I'll do some type of writing every single day. Do you ever get one of these lightning bolts of inspiration or insight? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Um, my second book comes out in the fall, but I was in the shower not too long ago, and the third book came to me, and I was in the shower, and I just broke my neck almost getting out of the shower to get to pad and paper. Yeah. So, uh, yes, and when it comes, it comes. So I just have to get it on paper as quickly as I can before I lose it. Well, that's fantastic, Dana. We wish you all the best. Good luck with the awards. And uh, I, for one, can't wait to read the book. And um, you're going to be, uh, I understand, at a art show, art literary show this Saturday. Yes. Uh, at Artworks in Artworks. Litchfield. Yes. Um, so we'll look forward to seeing you there. I'll be there, and I'll be signing books. Come on by and say hi. Will do. That's in Litchfield Exchange. Litchfield Exchange from 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Right. Okay. Good to see you. Thank you.